Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with a controversial view of Never Been Kissed. Never Been Kissed is a 1999 high school romantic comedy starring Drew Barrymore. It has one hell of a supporting cast as well, but I'll get to that. This was a favorite of mine back in 1999 when it was released. I saw it in theaters multiple times. I also rented it plenty of times as well before getting it on VHS and DVD and, of course, Blu-ray. Never Been Kissed is also one of those movies I just have to watch every time it's on TV. It's funny, and also not so funny at the same time, that back then, I never, never would have considered this to be a controversial movie. I swear, I just didn't look at things like that back then, and I know a lot of other people didn't either. It actually wasn't until recently when I caught this on TV, and of course watched it to the end, and realized, hmm, I wonder what people think about this now. Sure enough, first thing I saw when I looked it up online was Never Been Kissed controversy. Those of you who have seen the film will know that it follows Josie Geller, or Josie Grossi, played by Drew Barrymore. She's a newspaper copy editor and has just been given her first undercover writing assignment. Josie, who was very unpopular when she was in high school, gets to go back and try again. David Arquette plays her younger brother Rob, who was popular in high school, and he signs up to go back as well, to help Josie become popular this time around. And then there's Michael Vartan, who plays Mr. Coulson, Josie's teacher. This is where it gets sticky. The two clearly begin falling for each other, in a subtle way at first. I mean, it's totally fine and totally legal, because Josie is 25 years old, after all. Unfortunately, Mr. Coulson doesn't know that. He believes she's a 17-year-old student. But it's not like they do anything. He doesn't cross any lines or anything like that. You can just see as the viewer, he clearly has an attraction to her. But it's because she's so much more mature than her classmates, because she's a 25-year-old adult. Obviously, Josie's boss at the newspaper identifies this as the story she should be investigating. Immorality in high school. Teacher-student relationship. How close is too close? Then there's the fact that the guy Josie actually does start dating is 17 years old himself, we can assume, and she is 25, like I said. Although, they don't do anything either. They don't even kiss. The movie's called Never Been Kissed. Meanwhile, Rob, who's 23, is dating a 16-year-old because she thinks he's only 17. But once again... No lines are actually crossed. The whole thing is innocent. It's a high school romantic comedy. I get that Josie's article is supposed to be highlighting the inappropriate relationship with her and Mr. Coulson. But is it really inappropriate? Is it really controversial? Apparently, many people believe it is now. But they sure didn't back then. Never Been Kissed was super popular when it was released. A lot of people loved this movie. I still do. What happened to us as a society? Why have so many people become so overly sensitive and overly offended? Her character really wasn't underage. I swear, people just look for things to complain about now in movies. Never Been Kissed is the perfect example, the perfect example of why Jason and I created this series. I love this movie because it's a feel-good film. It's a comfort movie. It makes me happy. It makes me sad. It makes me laugh. It has it all. Drew Barrymore is always likable for me. She's lovable, in fact. I love watching her. David Arquette is awesome as always, and it's a shame Michael Vartan doesn't play in as many movies as he once did, because I thought he was great in this, and he and Drew Barrymore had awesome chemistry. As for the rest of the great cast, which I mentioned earlier, 
There are so many famous faces. There's Molly Shannon, John C. Riley, Gary Marshall, Sean Whalen, Cress Williams, Octavia Spencer, Alan Covert, Lily Sobieski, James Franco, Marley Shelton, Jessica Alba, and Jordan Ladd. Seriously, forget the so-called controversy. Never Been Kissed is worth a watch for that cast alone. I also really like the soundtrack, and I love the ending. This came out in the era of She's All That, 10 Things I Hate About You, and Can't Hardly Wait. And at the time, Never Been Kissed might have been my favorite of the bunch. It's a shame that people have turned on it now, just to be one with the times. In the most respectful way possible, I just want to say, get over it. I love Never Been Kissed, and I truly don't think it should be considered controversial. Comment below and let me know if you agree, but you don't have to. This is just my controversial view. Please be sure to check out Jason's video as well to hear his thoughts. Which controversial movie will we cover next? Check back soon to find out. Until then, thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe. <laughs>